Assalam o Alaikum. Hello and Namaste. Welcome to another inspiring episode, number seventy-three of the Limelight. Well, I'm your host Farin here, and today on the hot seat we have a magical personality. She is the director of Infinite Space and a conscious and empowerment coach. So, listeners, please welcome our guest, Parveen Tuli. Hello, Parveen. How are you doing today? I am brilliant. Thank you. You tell me. How are you today? I'm doing great, and it's a pleasure to have you on our podcast. Yeah, likewise. Okay. So, Parveen, before we go ahead and talk about your profession, I would like you to tell our listeners about yourself. Okay. So, my name is Parveen Tuli, and uh, I'm an international of change and creation, you can call. I'm an Access Consciousness Certified Facilitator. I am a business facilitator as well. I have lots and lots many roles to play. I have two kids, a family in Central India, and uh, yeah, the journey of life is very exciting for me. I'm an adventurer by street people, communicating people, sharing ideas, and growing. That's my love for life. That's lovely to know you, and I pray that God gives you and your family all the health and happiness in life. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. So now I want to ask you, what is the art of creation all about? Wow, this is one of my most favorite questions. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just give you a little example to give you a little. Visuals about it. Maybe. You see and observe nature. So nature is always, always creating and growing. It never starts. Whether it's a thunderstorm, no matter if it's an earthquake, no matter what happens, no matter it's Corona X Y Z. The our natural as human beings, our natural capacity is likewise. If we function from a natural, it is likewise the same. Equivalent to nature, but what happens is uh, one of the devices that we have in our organs, which is mind, it has imprint brain, which is it can it actually accumulates all the imprints, mm -hmm. and now as you are as young as uh, a child, uh, you will create more, but uh, suddenly when you become an adult. you start looking at it from the space or functioning from the data system that you work just like as your cell phone works so creation is an ever way of growth and really growing it from your as a space of your natural being like being very present look at you have around you not judging them as good bad right wrong which our brains actually we give our brains right wrong but if we do not look at everything that's around us as good bad right wrong mm -hmm. just as nature we can actually use it around us as an ingredient to create whatever we wish to create so in art of creation they make us aware of our mind and what are the possibilities we can do with it right so a mind is just a one element arin art of creation is knowing what you already a huge part of creating your life your business relationship with your kids families self awareness first is getting aware of yourself is because the more you are aware of how you function working around you and what is not working around you easier it gets for you to use all those elements and the other element is aware with functions in the world how the world is functioning like uh, we have art of creation classes for money as well which is a unique concept because nobody talks about creation with money everybody True. talks about how to make money or not to have money or but uh, to have the art of creation with your life and all the elements around it even with money and your business a you get so we have lots of tools is where we educate people to get aware of how what is their monetary reality mm -hmm. where did they buy it from what is it that they wish to create what is the financial reality they would like to have and with awareness of everything all of that uh, you actually question each and everything you start playing with whatever 
either not being an effect of like the conditioned mind of what you've already acquired it's more about playing and getting aware of what is there what's working what's not working and the major portion of it is what is really desired to create so while i was going through a blog i was reading about role play and labeling so can you just tell us more about how labeling someone can affect them yeah sure so labeling is more about how people give role plays to all so we can start with labels like when we are born we are born as just life but people keep on labeling us x y z that in our caste depending upon our gender depending about how we be in the family a child is really asking for something and really demanding something you might label it as oh he's a stubborn child or he doesn't listen and we what happens is all these labels of how people perceive us repeatedly start sticking to us and it's creating more imprints in our minds so i think as a parent like we usually have the tendency what our parents have labeled us the same will follow to our kids but then we have to consciously analyze should we do that to our kids or not because it will affect them in future and in their creation yeah definitely i think uh, also like whatever we have been taught was a different time and space Sure. Now, in the present moment, when we are functioning around with our kids, we have to really question what is required now. That's true. Okay. After all this serious question, I have a session called a rapid fire round, and I will be asking you three random questions, which you can answer in one word or a sentence. Okay. Okay. Yes. My first question is what was the last book you read? This is called as Flow Genome by uh, Stephen Kotler. Nice. Okay, my second question is which is your most used app on your phone other than Facebook? Ah, that's interesting. There are so many. it can be where i'm communicating and it's my evernote where i keep all my notes and kindle is something that i use a lot okay that's nice now last question is describe your life in one word adventure okay that's amazing okay that was the end of the rapid fire round and your answers were really nice I do I get a coffee ham <laughs> when well, I don't I'm have an apple yeah. right now. okay so uh, farin would you like to play with some questions as well i'll ask you some questions as well yeah okay okay so farin tell me what is it that you would like to create right now if you had a magical genie in front of you and you okay this is granted tell me what is it that you wish to create right now i want to create like total 100 episodes in my podcast that's the <laughs> that's the thing i want Awesome, granted. Okay, so tell me one thing. Which is your most interesting subject around? How do you pick up your uh, podcast? Like the topic. Topic. Okay. Intuition. It just pushes me. Like it comes in my mind, and then I start searching. That's how uh, the topics come. Oh, I love that. You are actually tapping into your knowing. That's great. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, so that's my way of having fun and uh, what is that one thing that's absolutely so much ease and fun for you that you think oh this is absolutely ease I mean like how can people not do that fun for me is learning something new wow awesome <laughs> so you are an explorer yourself yeah kind of Yeah, that's brilliant. So yeah, my rapid fire wow. round is over. <laughs> that was great. I had fun. Yeah, yeah. did too. Same. Cool, cool. Yeah. Well, uh, we have come to the end of uh, this uh, segment uh, where we ask for your advice to our listeners. Oh, so my advice to all the listeners is: we all have one life. If you come and do not explore it. you might actually live a very small portion of it like the lowest common denominator of what life is if you st- start allowing yourself to explore the life magical and beautiful you will really get to know that 
there is so many capacity so much so much potency in beauty in life that you would every day would love to get up and explore it more so please please explore yourself you your is a huge magical walk, magic walking talking on this planet so one person that you explore is you that's something that that creates the magic that you call life Wow, I really love that advice. It's really beautiful. I mean, yeah, I'm all for exploring and knowing life. That was lovely. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Parveen, I have to really thank you more for taking time. I know you have a busy schedule, but still you agreed to do this podcast with me. I thank you so much. Thank you. I I think hard connect with Pari because we have been connected since years, but we actually pop up and say a hi in yeah. once in a year maybe. <laughs> True. <laughs> I love the way you create. <laughs> yeah. yeah, same here. Same here. I mean, I just love how you do your sessions, how you explain things. I've been following those videos. Okay, listeners. If you have liked this episode, please click on the like button of the Limelight page, and also I will put in Parveen Tuli's page link where you can check out her work. Thank you for listening, and Allah. Peace.